Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my updated K-pop collection video. I guess that's what you can call it or like my updated K-pop shelves video. <laughs> um, I just wanted to film this intro with the camera steady like this. I know you can't like really see everything. So um, I will film a like wider shot of everything and show you all of my bookshelves. Um, but it'll be a little bit shaky, so that's why I wanted to film this intro just like this. Also, I am looking in the camera right now and I can see like dust particles flying, so <laughs> apologies for that. I do have my like window open and it's full sun right now, so um, that's why. But anyways, so I'm going to now take the camera like off of its holder and I'll show you everything um, in this room and then we can go into the individual shelves. Okay, so this is what my like K-pop room, I guess, <laughs> looks like from the outside. And then when you come in, um, that's where we just were. <laughs> and then these are my shelves. So I will now do like a zoom out of this and I will show you everything. Um, but we're going to ignore this area. <laughs> okay, so I'm literally standing like on. <laughs> my futon um because that's the way I can like the only way I can fit everything in frame I still can't fit everything in frame but it's the only way I can fit most things in frame so I do have three bookshelves um most of them don't have k-pop stuff on it but so this first bookshelf it's mostly books and then I just have like boxes and that's um where I keep my photo card stuff like my photo card sleeves and stuff like that and then it's mostly just like books and then down there is where I keep um, some extra albums and then stuff for trading. So I have like sticky notes, thank you cards, washi tape, that sort of thing. And then those are just um, more boxes for like packaging stuff. I'm actually getting rid of a lot of these books so that's why I have those boxes. And then this shelf we will go fully through so I will skip it but then this shelf is also just like more books. And then down there is where I keep all my posters. I hate posters. I hate them so much. <laughs> So um, I just keep them there and one day I will need to get rid of them but I also keep a few other things down there. Um, so in there is like freebie cards that I get and there is some more stuff for packaging trades and that sort of thing. I'm not going to go through that because it's not very interesting so um, we will just be going through this bookshelf <laughs> today. So with that I am going to put the camera back on something steady so Apologies again that this was probably a little bit shaky, but let us get into the actual shelves. Also, I forgot to mention I'm not going to go through this top shelf here because as you can see, it's mostly just like my heels and my photo card binders, which I'll make a separate video for my photo card binders. So yes, that will be coming soon, but I like my stuff won't arrive to Neo Kyo, like the warehouse. It's taking a really long time. So um, yeah, but it will be coming soon. <laughs> I just have a couple things that I want to include in it. So um stay tuned and then also up here I just have my memories of 2018 like scroll thing that's the only poster I've ever hung I don't like posters so <laughs> but this one was kind of cool because it's a scroll so anyways I debated taking out all of the albums and like showing you the fronts of them but I think that'll take too long so what I'm gonna do is just like point to what the album is and say like what group it is I know that the way that I have this organized I mean this first shelf is a bad example because it's pretty organized but after this it gets like pretty disorganized so I know that that might trigger some people's like fight or flight responses <laughs> um I apologize it's extremely disorganized I don't have it organized in any specific way so um if that bothers you perhaps don't watch this video <laughs> but to me i think it looks okay so that's why i keep it this way um and yeah so let's get started okay so on the side here i just have dark and wild by bts and then beside it i do have two of these like one us japan live dvds um i actually have three of them but I will be getting rid of the extras, so don't worry. Um, and then I have Studio We Recording. This is by One We. Again, I have multiples. Um, I don't know. I honestly, you guys, I don't know. For my alt groups, I just buy like a shit ton of albums. This is just what I do. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, beside it here, this is one of 808. This is the like jewel case um, B version. I don't like jewel cases. This is actually the only jewel case you will see in this whole video, but I do have just that one. Beside it, I have one of us's Twilight limited edition and their 808 limited edition. These are both of their Japanese releases. I do collect the limited editions for their Japanese releases, but I do not collect their jewel cases because they have about a million of them. <laughs> so um, I just stick to their limited editions. Beside it we get into one of us's like actual Korean discography. So we have Light Us, which was their first mini, Raise Us. I don't know which one's Twilight and which one is Dawn. Um yeah. <laughs> but I have both of them and then Fly With Us and then their last mini which was Lived. Once their new album comes out I'll have to um like rearrange this but I think I can just like flip that on its side and then it'll fit nicely hopefully. <laughs> So there's that. And then down below here, I just have one Wii's Memory Illusion and one. Okay, so there's a little bit less on this shelf because it's mostly just Love Yourself <laughs> albums. So um, starting from this side, we have BTS's Love Yourself Her. I do have a few extras. So it says Louvre, I guess. Um, I would eventually like to get rid of the extras, but um, that is a later problem. And then we have Love Yourself Tear and Love Yourself Answer. And then we have Map of the Soul Persona. The sun has like bleached these all different colors. So it actually kind of looks nice. Like they all look like they're different versions, even though they're not like, especially these three. Yeah, I actually don't mind having the extras of those because I think it looks really pretty. But anyways, <laughs> we just have here, this is the most beautiful moment in life. Oh wait, they're in the wrong order. <laughs> this is the most beautiful moment in life part two. And then these are both part one and then part two again um I didn't even realize those were in the wrong order that's awkward um and then just to like fill out the space here I just have twices more and more on the side there okay moving on to the second level of shelves I suppose this is mostly TXT but I did run out of room and I had to put a little bit of BTS stuff there so here I just have BTS Uno and then my army bomb this is the version three I don't have the limited one um if I ever see them in concert again, I'll get the limited, but um, I didn't feel like I needed it right now, so that's why I don't have it. In front here, I just have this Lumpy Space Princess. There are a couple of standees from um, Crown era, um, and then behind there, I just have the Dream Chapter Magic. I do have both versions. I don't remember what they're called, so my apologies, but I do have both. And then along the side here, I have their newest album, Blue Hour. I do have all three versions. Um, this is the Dream Chapter Star, and then both versions of the Dream Chapter Eternity. I know they're all in the wrong order, but it doesn't bother me <laughs> at all. So that's why they're in that order. Also, it stays up the best in this order. So then for the shelf, I had to like make it a lot shorter just to accommodate like my larger items below it. Not much fits on this shelf, but I do have this. Um, this was from Map of the Soul 7. It was like a pre-order thing from Weavers. And then here, that's just Sailor Moon. It's like one of those Funko Pop things. And then I do have Super M's album. So this is the United version. And then this is 10's version. 10 is my Super M bias. And then below it, I just have BTS's Wings albums. And then beside that, we don't really need to talk about the fact that I have more One Us lived albums, but I do. I will get rid of these eventually. I actually have photo cards to sell with them. So I really do need to list them. But um, for now, they just stay there. Okay, so moving on, this is kind of where like shit hits the fan a little. Um, this is completely disorganized, so <laughs> I'm really sorry in advance, but we will go through this shelf nonetheless. On the side here, I just have NCT 127's Neozone album. I don't know what version it is. I think it's the C version, maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, and then BTS's School Love Affair. This is Monsta X's Follow version 1. This is Itsy's It's Icy. Again, don't know what version. And then this is the Paris A Itsy. I don't speak French. I don't know if that was pronounced right. Um, but that was a pre-order benefit for It's Me, which I also have here. I do only have one version of these albums, but I would love to get the other versions. So um, hopefully soon, hopefully this year I'll get them. I do have all three versions of their latest release, Not Shy. This, I don't know what this is. I think this was from BTS's like fan 
club thing. I don't know why it's here, but it is. <laughs> um, beside here, I just have the BTS World soundtrack. And then these two have no like things on the side because Cube is weird. But they are G Idol's I Am and I Made albums. Beside there, I do have both versions of BTS's You Never Walk Alone. And then Twice's The Story Begins. And just on the side here, I have, this is like a cup sleeve event. I live in the middle of nowhere, so we don't have cup sleeve events. But um, somebody like out of their own pocket made cup sleeves for Tay and Jin's birthdays. And like had an event like completely, They I think they paid for it all themselves. So that is why I have just one little cup sleeve. But um, yeah, we don't have those events where I live. But it was really sweet of that person to do that. So I do have that just sitting there. And then behind there, I do have Oh My Girls Nonstop album. I think this is the Chance version. I actually don't know now that I'm saying that. Um, but this is one of my favorite album packagings of all time. So I, of course, had to display it. I don't have a lot of room to display albums, but I did want to display that one. So for now, it can stay like that. For this one, I had to zoom out a little bit to fit everything in frame, so apologies if you can't hear me as well. On this side here, I just have Ace's 2021 Seasons Greetings. Ideally, I would like to put that somewhere else. I just don't really have room for it right now. And then beside it, I just have One Us's In It's Time. And then beside that, I have One Us's Light Stick. It is called Bell Beat. So along the side here is where I keep like my taller albums that wouldn't fit like vertically on any other shelves. So here I just have um, all four versions of Map of the Soul 7. This is Twice's Fancy You. I think it's version B. And then I do have both versions of G Idol's I Trust. This is just an extra copy of One Us's In It's Time. This is One Us Our Step, which was a Japanese photo book. And then we have Twice's Summer Nights. Above that, I have Aces Undercover, The Mad Squad, as well as um, The Butterfly Fantasy, which was their latest release, and then both versions of BTS's Young Forever. This is version A, I think, of Feel Special, and then I do have all three versions of Twice's Eyes Wide Open. Now we are on to our last couple of shelves. We are literally like on the floor here, so um, apologies for the perhaps odd angle but on the side here this is aces undercover area us this was a um tour dvd and then this is actually the latest thing that i got this was one of us's like crush on us merch i put it here because it fit there but um eventually i'm sure i'll have to move it and then this is actually a puzzle i'll open it it's just a bt21 puzzle so i don't know if you can see that but i don't want to like push the puzzle pieces out but there's that. And then beside here, I just have Twistagram and then another copy of BTS World. This is Yua from Oh My Girl's Bon Voyage. And then Twice's What Is Love. I don't know what version that is. I do have both versions of G Idol's Dum Dee Dum Dee. And I have Merry and Happy. I think this is the Merry version. And then Oh My Girl's, what is this called? Bungie, I think. And then BTS's Oh Are You Late Too. This is Twice Coaster Lane 1 and then Signal. All, those are both by Twice. And then on the side here, this is my Ace Light Stick or Choy Stick, I guess it is called. Um, it doesn't stand up on its own. Like you can see, it doesn't have a flat bottom. So I have it just like pressed into the like side of the bookshelf with these albums, like holding it up. So it does fall sometimes. I'm like terrified it's going to crack one day, but... For now, we're okay, so that's where I keep it, um, but I would like to fashion a stand of some sort for it one day, but for now, it's okay to just sit like that. For this last shelf, it's kind of like a little bit boring, but I have my Army Bomb and Choice Stick boxes there. This is from BTS's 2020 Seasons Greetings. This is just like random stuff, like some itsy pre-order stuff. I think there's some stuff from um, BTS's like summer package, just stuff like that again here like I don't know why this like ace thing is even here but um we're just gonna ignore that and then on the side here I have BTS's memories of 2018 BTS's 2020 seasons greetings again more BTS this is 2019 summer package whichever one was in Korea I think it was 2019 and just on the bottom here this is their army membership kit from again 2019 i think i didn't get army membership this year so 
um, actually, yes, I did, but I didn't get the kit, so <laughs> I had to remember there for a minute. So um, that is everything for this shelf. All right, you guys, sorry, I'm holding the camera again so I can get like as much of this in frame as possible. Um, that was everything for my like K-pop shelves tour. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.